So just give it a minute and a half. People to log in. Now I'm active. A minute behind, sorry about that. Just need your mat. A little bit of breakfast. Forty odd seconds. Morning, Meg, Ing, Green. About 15 seconds, so goggles off. boy over there. <laughs> Perfect. Right, let's get ourselves nice and relaxed. So stand nice and neutral, feet hip distance apart. Uh, think about your posture, think about how your pelvis is, engage your pelvic floor, zip up your core, so everything up, nice strong spine, hands to the side, let's just breathe in. So breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Filling up your ribs, and each time you breathe out, keeping those ribs tighter and tighter, really engaging those core muscles. Help bring those ribs in. A couple more breaths. So still standing nice and tall and neutral, cause of engage. Again, pelvic floor, everything zipped up nice and tight. Keeping your shoulders nice and flat. Let's have a look to our left. Just stretching out the side of our neck. Keep everything nice and tight. Back to center, look to your right. Back to center, left again. Back to center and to the right. Perfect. Look down. So again, keeping your traps under control, try not to let the shoulders rise. Stretch out the muscles of the neck. Back to neutral and look up to the ceiling under control. Back to neutral. Perfect. Let's do the standing saw. So we're going to have our hands out to the side. So take a nice deep breath in. As we breathe out, we're going to rotate to the right. Breathe into centre. Breathe out and rotate. Breathe into centre. Breathe out and rotate. Final time into centre. And left to the left. Breathe out. Perfect stuff. Let's lower our arms. Just get our shoulder blades moving. So feel them moving against the rib cage. Breaking up the fascia. Take them forward. Think about loosening all up. Think about your wings on your back. You're moving them as much as possible. Perfect. 
absolutely perfect. Let's give our back articulation. So we're going to tuck our chin, so our feet are hip distance apart, and give our knees soft. Tuck our chin and roll down, bend by bend. Keep that core nice and engaged. Nice round back and think about your thoracic vertebrae down to your lumbar vertebrae. Down into your hips. So you can practice your stomach uh, vacuum. Say we're getting our belly buttons up and in. It's easier to do when inverted. So have a breath. Engage that core now. So draw your belly button into your spine, up everything into your diaphragm and ribs. Keep that tension now. As you curl back up, you feel different muscles activate. That's what we're going to be sort of working on with our powerhouse. Good job. Okay, just roll the shoulders five more times, get the blood back up to our heads, and then we're going to go down to the floor. Perfect, down to the floor. <laughs> that can be good. Good, good. Right, let's curve ourselves onto the ground. When you get chances, can you take the display off the uh, computer? Right, make yourselves nice and comfortable. Let's go and find our neutral position. Sorry? This is a nice and click top, right? We're called CV. Yay! You get the box on the screen, I'm hiding behind it. Right, let's find our neutral position. So our hips, our feet are hip distance apart, our knees are bent, our feet are flat. Then we find our neutral pelvis, which results in our hips and pelvis being level. So you have a slight arch in your back, it's not a forced arch. We're going to find our neutral pelvis, take a nice deep breath in, drawing the belly button into your spine, and tilt your pelvis. So your bits and bobs are facing up and your back is imprinted into the ground. So here's your imprinted position, and if we go to the complete opposite area, we have a big old arch in our back. And two. So we're going to try three or four, getting that full range. You'll really imprint the back into the mat and change your pelvis so your bits and bobs and face to the ground. A couple more. Tilt up. Keep that core lovely tight. So you're not just moving the hips. Think about engaging those core muscles. Last time, tilt the pelvis, bits and bobs to the ground. <laughs> and then back to neutral. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely superb. So your cores are nice and tight. We're going to find our neutral shoulders now. So our hands up to the ceiling. We're going to reach up and we're going to drop them down. So our hands are our back shoulder distance apart here. They're not too close together. The wider they are, the more of our shoulder length we can get onto the mat. So we're going to go for three more. So again, our core is engaged. We haven't imprinted our mat our back into the mat. <laughs> we're going to extend up and drop our shoulders. Got three more. <laughs> up and back down. Get those core muscles engaged, extending up, drop those shoulders. So you're feeling how the shoulder blades are spreading out on that mat, getting nice and wide. So, what I like to do now is keep your arms up in the air. We take a nice deep breath in, draw our belly button into our spine, and tilt our pelvis so our lower back is now imprinted into the ground. So, our lower back is imprinted, and our shoulder blades are still stuck into that mat. We're going to extend our hands overhead and touch the thumbs on the floor. You're going to feel resistance. Your body's going to want to uh, arch your back or lift your shoulder blades. Have a flex in your elbow that allows you to do it. Really focus, tight core, back imprinted, shoulder blades flat. Touch your thumbs behind your head and bring them back up. Still keeping those shoulder blades pinned. We're going to go for two more. So your core is still tight, your back is pinned, shoulder blades are flat. Arms overhead and touch the floor. And back up. We'll do a reset here, so we relax your core. Let's extend up, drop our shoulders so they're pushed into the mat. Now draw our breath in, then put into your spine, tilt that pelvis, imprint the back, and take your hands over. So we're going to go for two more with this current kind of breath. Hands over, keep them up. Think about your shoulder blades, think about your core muscles, think about your lower back. One more. Resist the urge to let go. You still breathe shallowly, but keep that core tight. Perfect. and relax. So you should feel that the muscle on the side of the of your internal obliques kicking in, supporting that movement. Let's loosen up our hips. So, extend your right leg up in the air, we're going to do our uh, hip rotation. 
So since the graduate we're not flexing the knee or bending the ankle, we're literally moving the whole uh, thigh in that hip. So keep that core nice and tight, belly buttons the spine, back is imprinted, and feel how it's like to loosen up that hip bone and socket. Nice and controlled. Have as much of a flex in that knee as you find comfortable. More. Perfect. Lower that leg and change them over. So left leg is up. Again, there's a slight flex in the knee. The only thing that is moving is my femur. It's not a case of just moving your ankles or knees. It's the rotation of that big chunk of bam. Okay, so it's nice to keep there saying the belly button spine back is imprinted and let's rotate. Visualize the bone moving around in that socket. More. Perfect, lower that leg. So we're going to do our double leg opening, so our feet are now together. And we're going to open out our legs uh, like the petals of a flower. So nice deep breath in from your belly button spine. Tilt that pelvis, get that back imprinted. Keep your glutes tight, core tight, so you don't like you're squeezing your legs together whilst the land to open out. Keep that lower, let all that pelvis pinned onto the mat. You want to hook your fingers over your pelvis bone, your iliac here, you can feel your core muscles engage. We're going to do three more, but really focus on keeping that lower, uh, lower back and pelvis pinned. You can feel the difference in the core muscles. Okay. Got one more, keep more tight. Perfect. Hope that makes sense about feeling the, the muscles in your transverse area. So the transverse of the ones that we work on our waist and our shape. So we want them to make them like our corset. Pull those waists in. Okay, so we're going to make a single leg circles now. We're going to start with our right leg. So lift up your right leg and then we're going to sort out our pelvis and back. So nice deep breath in, belly button to spine, tilt that pelvis like the lower back is pinned. You can feel all the bottom of the pelvis, all the lower back pinned into your mat. Core beautifully tight. If you want to hook over your pelvis again so you can feel how much your core is engaging, great. Activate that leg for me so those quads are away. We're going to lower the leg down and circle around. We're going to do six in this direction, six in the other. But really keep the core tight and don't let that lower back come off the floor. The size of your circle depends on your flexibility. Do you keep trying to increase that circle so there should be no clunking uh, and no pain. No uncomfy clunking. So good. This is number three, and then three more. We're going to keep that pelvis flat onto that mat. These are not going to lift up, it's especially the legs drawn around the outside. I've got two more straight down the centre line, and I'm coming out. I've got my leg active. One more. Core is tight, low back is good. Perfect. So now I'm going to go in the opposite direction. So I'm going to go out to the side first of all, lowering them around. Make sure he's active here and lift up. All right. For those that have the pain with you in their quads, you can just do six more in the same direction if you find that this extension is too awkward. So out to the side, scoop round, make sure he's still active, draw him up. Two more, core tight, pelvis pinned. And up, got one more. Perfect. Lower that leg down, have a little rest. It's more tiring than he seems, that one. So just a couple of breaths. And let's change legs. Let's extend our left leg. Nice deep breath in, tilt that pelvis so that lower back is pinned. Again, focus on the back of your pelvis, and your lower back. Everything is lovely and tight and engaged. Put your fingers over your hip bones to get a little bit of connectivity with that core. We're going to go straight down the middle first of all and out to the side. Watching out for bits of furniture. We've got six of these. Then these legs are active when they're extended, so we're trying to hit them as long as possible. Two. We've got six all the way. So we're going straight down the line, out to the side. Four. Keep the static and pinned. Five. One more. Keep it solid. Perfect. Now changing directions. So we can reset if you wish. Relax your breath. Let's draw it in again. So deep breath in. 
Belly went to spine, tilt that pelvis so it's absolutely solid. And let's go the other direction. Make sure you've got those here. Out to the side. Straight up. Really elongate with pushing away with that chain, making that leg as strong as possible. Two. We've got six. Circle. Three. Keep them solid. It's really easy to allow the lower back to try and peel off. Four. Two more. Six. Perfect. Bend that leg. Let's go back to our neutral position. So our feet are hip distance apart, our knees are bent. We have a neutral pelvis, so we're not imprinted and we're not extended, which results in our hip bones and bottom lower ribs being level. We have our shoulder blades pinned into the mat, so a nice contact with the top of our back. Hands to the side, neutral chin, so our airway is not obstructed. And let's just breathe. So think about your breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. We're feeling out our ribs to the side. And each time we breathe out, holding, drawing those ribs in, thumbing them together, working on those beats. Perfect. We're going to do our toe slide now. So we're going to keep our left leg bent, we're going to work with our right first. I'm going to do five on this side, we're not going to alternate. And what we need to do is keep that core engaged. So we just want to have our fingers over, hooked over our um, front of our hip bones. And you can feel, if you take a deep breath in now, draw your thumbs up and into your spine and tilt your pelvis. You'll feel the different activation go on on your core muscles. Keep that tension so the back of your pelvis and your low back is pinned to the mat. And slowly draw out your right leg along the floor, keeping everything in and draw them back in. So it's lovely and slow, it's not uh, rushing you into the slightest. And have a reset after each one. So don't go for five, we've got four more. So nice deep breath in, belly button the spine, tilt your pelvis so you're imprinted into that. Core deeply tight and then to extend out your right. If you can get to this breath and keeping everything in shape, absolutely perfect. But don't rush the extension. Keep those claws tight, thumb lift. Do a reset for our last two. Nice deep breath in, tilt your pelvis. Mac, back into the back. Mac into the back. <laughs> back into the mat. Less gin at this time of the morning. <laughs> extend your leg. <laughs> Oh, don't be serious. Last time. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, we reset. We're going to get the five on our left. Oh, goodness. Okay, so nice deep breath in. Bend button into your spine. Tilt your pelvis. Low back is printed. We're going to get the five on our left. So uh, active pressure through your right foot, extending your left and draw them back in. Nice and slow and steady. You can get more than one out per breath and per setting. Back on and get the five. Really push into that mat, draw those abs in. Get number three. Got two more. Really keep that back nice and pinned, back and pelvis pinned, core drawn in. Last one. Perfect, and back. So back to neutral, feet hip distance apart, knees bent, core is still engaged, but we have a slight arch on our back, we haven't imprinted, shoulder blades are flat, hands to the side, and let's breathe. And do five roll ups now. So those that have the core strength, they'll do the roll up and the roll down. 
for those who are working on their step, this is what I like to do. If you have a nice deep breath in, draw your belly button into your spine, imprint your back into the mat, tuck your chin, take your shoulder blades up, and get up as far as you can under control. The important thing also is to know yourself back into control, that the eccentric phase is where the strength comes from. So once you're up, we work on coming down as slowly as possible. That means having to grab the side of your legs just to keep that tension on as you lower yourself down. Absolutely perfect. Just think of what's going on inside our course. For uh, those who have got the strength that I would do the roll ups, I'm going to go for five. So those doing the bottom phase, it might be um, more than five, but go lovely and slow. Think that muscle you're using. So everybody else with the roll up, now have your legs straight or bent. I like to have mine straight. They are straight, have active toes, so our uh, heels are down, uh, toes up to the ceiling. So nice little deep breath in. We'll open up. Back to your seated position. We're going to go for five. So make sure everything's up and in. And repeat. Hold it. So we're going to sit in the upright position. We're going to put our roll like a ball. In those who are working on your strength, have your towel you rolled up max behind you. So it can catch you. I'll get the towel so I can show you've got some new faces. Cool, look. Yeah, so have your um, towel or cushion behind you. What you're going to do, if you roll like a ball, is have it so it catches you. And it's going to start off in the same, so nice deep breath in. Tuck your chin, but keep your airway open. And lift your ribs and up so you're up in that uh, nice ball position. You're going to roll down, but if you're Practicing your strength, go as far as you can until you hit uh, the, the towel cushion to get yourself back up. What you need to make sure you don't do is whee! Use your legs and momentum. So don't pull on your arms, don't use your legs. Focus on using your core to do the work for you. So once more, so you see where I'm coming from. Nice deep breath in, everything perfectly balanced, uh, feet off the ground, elbows are high. Roll back and forth if you find your mat and come back up and you're trying to use this bit. So those practice it uh, with the cushion. Go for five or so. Those who are able to do the roll like a ball, we'll do four five. Remember what we don't want to see is up to our hips. Okay, so no momentum, no pulling with our arms, no pulling with our legs and going nowhere near our heads, but just to our shoulder blades. Let's go. Nice deep breath in. Took our chins. Up and up and in. Call his active toes are off. Five of these. Perfect. So that anyone notice on my second one, I flattened out my lower back a little bit because I had a bit of a thud going on. When you feel that happen, reset your positions and really think about that C curve, lifting the back of those ribs to help that shape. You don't want to have, so I've got, I have got quite a flat uh, back here, so I need to really work on tilting that pelvis under and getting that shape. So if you feel the end of me have that thud where you hit the low of your back, just really think of your position. If you haven't got a mirror, you can do it in front of. Either set your phone up and record yourself. It should not feel 
um, when you have that bit, I just see where I was coming from. So if I don't put a full round on, I can flatten there. That's what we're working on. Make sure I really tilt my pelvis and uh, work on that rounding, lifting my back of my ribs so I can roll back up and down. So it's really a cognitive thing, and it's going to be slightly different depending on the bone structures. Very good. Good, good. Right, my lovelies. Then I'll roll down, going to give our single leg stretch there is. So back down to the mat. Make ourselves nice and comfortable. We're going to go for the single leg stretch, uh, then the scissor stretch. And maybe the double leg stretch, seeing how we're feeling. So back to our nice and neutral position. Let's bring both our knees into our chest. Do a little roll so our lower back gets pinned into the mat. Our single leg stretch is alternating here. The most important thing is keeping that back and pelvis pinned into that mat. If you're comfortable going nice and low, as long as your back is pinned, perfect. If you're happier, just doing it quite vertical, absolutely fine. The most important thing is that core is engaged and our back is pinned to the mat. So we're going to go to six pairs. So everybody is hip landing on the floor now, their knees in their chest and they flatten their back. Let's take a nice deep breath in. Draw your belly button into your spine. This is all locked and loaded. Let's push out our left leg. So think about the active leg that's being extended and draw them back in. So it's a really strong push out. We've tucked our chin, our shoulders up and off the floor. Two pairs. Push, don't rush, go down in tempo. Keep that core beautifully tight. Looking down at your navel, making sure it's drawn in. And then four, three, you are doing six. Draw them in, push them out. Make yourself again as long as possible. Last pair, pushing out my left, drawing my right. Core is still tight and drawn in. Low back is still pinned. You've done your six pairs, both knees in. Lower yourself back down to the floor. Feet back to neutral, and we'll get ready for our scissor stretch. Okay, scissor stretch. So both legs in, and roll them up so that back is beautifully imprinted into the mat. Our scissor stretch will be both starting from both legs up, activate them. So we're pointing our toes, our heels are touching, palms are facing. Quads are awake, and we're going to be lowering down, lowering back up. Ouchie, my hamstrings are tight. So, we're going to give for six pairs again. Let's extend our legs, let's activate them. So, pointing those toes really strong, work up those muscles. Deep breath in, belly button into your spine, we're already imprinted to the mat. Uh, chin is tucked, shoulder blades pinned up. Let's give for six pairs. So, fully extend. If you keep that back pinned, you can transition halfway through. Keep a look on that core for me. Draw them in. Or if you're not quite happy to go three star, bring it back up and change. Three more pairs. Keep looking down at that navel. Draw it in. You don't want to descend those abs. You want them in. Get them tough. Four more pairs. Back up, lower yourself down, feet back down to the ground. And as you can see during quarantine, my ability to count has <laughs> not got any better. Sorry. One in. <laughs> nice step. So nice and neutral, think about the position of your pelvis, and your ribs and hips are flat, and nice and neutral, feet hip distance apart. So let's roll over now, go into our tummies. We made your pants, don't you, my knickers? So, our clothes. Are we good? 
Oops, not interesting, first of all, are our back contractions and our core extensions. So, um, we're going to stay as we are up on our elbows. This is different to when we're doing the hamstring curls and we're asking to activate your core so your core's aren't touching the ground. So our hips are still down. What we're going to do is take a nice deep breath in and push our hips into the ground and activate our lower legs. So you can feel that your, your glutes will kick in. Okay? I find more comfortable to be slightly lower down. So if you're okay being up, great. But I do find I'm doing just the lower end to have my hands in my triangle as I would having my head there. I think it's personal choice. We're going to have a hold for count of five. So nice deep breath in. Then put into your spine. Push your hips in. Activate your glutes and your hands and your legs. And let's hold for five. Really squeeze. Four. Lift those legs as high as you can. Three. Two, one. We're working on our rectus spinae, so we'll feel it in our lower back. But be your own judge as to find as to how high you come. We're going to go for the, the full range here. We're going to have our fork, our forward, our swan, and then our swimming. We're going to do all of them. Okay, so we're going to start with our fork. But first of all, let's just breathe. So hands in a triangle, let's go ahead. So when we bring our hands around, think about flattening your shoulder blades, make that back work, okay? So do the lower end first, so a nice deep breath in, really bend a bit into your spine, push your hips into the mat, squeeze those glutes and make those legs nice and strong, bring your arms up and to the sides, really squeeze those shoulder blades, draw those elbows down, keep your gaze to the floor, or think for five, squeeze, four, really strong, three, two, one, perfect, and rest. Good. Okay, so now we're going to give our arms straight out in front. Everything starts the same. So, head is currently forward, take a nice deep breath in, lift your head, so push your hips into the ground, core is tight, squeeze your legs. Once you're up and ready, extend your arms, keep your gaze down, hold for five, make yourself long. Four, push, push, push. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. Let's now go for the swan. So we're going to bring our hands around and point towards our toes. Let's go. So nice deep breath in. Draw your belly button into your spine. Push your hips into the mat. Activate your glutes and your legs. Arms up. Point forward. Spin round. And point towards your toes. Keep your gaze towards the ground. A really long body. Four. Keep them tight. Three. Two. One. Perfect. Back down. Got one more on the series. Okay, time for swimming. So we have our arms and legs extended, and we'll be doing our opposite arm and leg, and we have 10 pairs. Really keep your bum nice and tight. It's a strong movement, it's not just flaying our arms and legs around. You really do want to focus on really long, really active muscles. Right then, so nice deep breath in. Bend your spine, push your hips in, squeeze your bum, activate those legs. Extend those arms, keep your gaze down, alternating legs. 10 pairs, really strong, three, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. <laughs> Rest. Hands in a triangle, head on. Breathe. Good job. Hands around to the side. Let's bring ourselves up onto our hands and knees. Again, wardrobe, wardrobe adjustment. You can tell why certain clothes stay in the bottom of the drawer and don't come out. Okay, so cat and cow stretch. That isn't the cat and cow. Okay, so make sure your hands are directly under your shoulders. 
and your knees and your hips. A nice deep breath in, draw that belly up into your spine. We're going to drop our head and drop our hips. Push through the ground. Push through the heels of your palm. Push. Transition now to the cow. Squeeze those glutes. Lift the hips. Lift the head. Keep your shoulders over your hands and knees over your hips so you don't sit back. You really want to elongate this bit. So you're going to, if you cause tight your bones engaged, you're stretching out your entire rectus abdominis. And that's what we're aiming for. Keep the core tight and squeeze on. Three, two, one. Perfect step. Down to your forearms, down onto your haunches. Stretch out your arms and have a little rest. I'm going to sneak up and get that display off the screen because I literally can't see what you can see. Again for the cat and the cow. So up onto our forearms, up onto our hands and knees. Again, make sure your shoulders are directly over your wrists and your knees are under your hips. So core nice and tight. Draw it all in. We're going to drop our head, drop our uh, hips. Really open up those back ribs. Squeeze your bum. Push your hips back, head up, hips up. Again, core level being tight, keep that fox position. Draw everything up and in. We stretch out. Four, three, two, one. Perfect, back to neutral, down to your forearms, onto your haunches, stretch out and rest your head. Okay, back to your forearms, back up to our hands and knees. We're going to do our uh, leg extensions with our arms. If you're stable enough already and used to the exercise, then go straight into drawing the arms. If you're not, take the arms out for the first round, the hand will go on the second round. Okay, so into positions. Beautiful box positions, so our hips are directly over our knees and our hands and shoulders. Windy pops, excuse me. Draw your breath in, so big breath in, turn up into the spine, suck it all up and in. Plant your right foot and push out your left leg. So you're pushing your heel into the back wall, keeping your core lovely and tight. So if you're already stable and you're good with the exercise, bring out your right arm if your left leg's extended and make yourself as long as possible. Keep that core drawn in for four. Push, push, push. Three, two, one. Draw them back in. Back to neutral. Let's change over. So plant your left toe, draw your breath in, bend the to spine up and in, push out your right leg. So toes to the ground, really push over your heel. Once you are stable, if you are happy with the exercise, extend your left arm. Make yourself as long as possible. Keep that core tight, draw them in. Four, three, push, push, two, one, good. Back to neutral. Okay, one more time. Have a little wriggle off if you need. We're going to go for our left leg. Okay, so what did we do first last time? It doesn't matter. So, something up in our box. Let's plant our right toe, push out our left heel. So, core is beautifully tight. Push over the heel, squeeze that bum, and extend your right arm. So make yourself as long as possible. Keep pushing for four, three, two, one. Good job. Back to neutral. Change them over. So nice deep breath in. Bend into your spine. Plant your left toe. Push out your right. Once you are stable, bring your arm in. So your right leg is extended. Your left arm. 
Make yourself as long as possible. Four, three, two, one. Perfect. Draw them back in. Down to your forearms, down to your haunches. Stretch out. Perfect. Back up to your forearms, back up to your hands and knees. We'll move our side planks. Okay, so onto our elbows. We're going to activate everything first of all. Okay, so make sure your elbow stays underneath your shoulder. If you're still working on your strength, bring your top leg and bend it over the top. And still get your plank position. Your top leg is helping with the movement. If you're fine dandy, have your feet stacked or slightly off centre. So we're going to go for a five second hold. So I'll be ready. Nice deep breath in. Engage that core. So active waists, push yourselves up. Nice and steady. You're going to extend your um, top arms up to the ceiling and look up. Want to keep, make sure we don't uh, compress any of that chest area. So holding for five, core's tight. Four, three, two, one. Perfect. And lower. Let's spin around on the other side. So make sure we have a lovely active waist before we start. We don't want it dropping down. Elbows under our shoulders. You can have your top leg over the top to support you. You're working on your strength still, or have both legs touching. So are we ready for a five second plank on the other side? So let's go, nice deep breath in, activate your core, bring them up, get more nice and stacked, extend your top arm, Looking up to your fingers, keeping this beautifully open. Five, cause tight. Four, three, two, one. Good job. And lower. Nice. Staying on your bottoms. Are we all good? Can the displays come up so I can't see me? So. Let's sit nice and tall, so think about our spine position and our pelvis. So if you have tight uh, hamstrings or a tight pelvis, you can sit on a block, sit on a cushion. Actually work on your spine position. Okay. So stand nice and tall, sit nice and tall. Think about your pelvic floor now, so you start squeezing your bum, activating your bum. Think about drawing everything in and up, so really making yourself tall, keeping that core beautifully tight, a nice straight back. Just gonna sit in that position and breathe. But think about everything from the bottom, so from your bum cheeks, squeeze them, activate them, suck up your pelvic floor, zip up all to the top. Nice tight core, strong back. So you have your legs open, come up tomorrow, you're gonna to be sitting slightly more open, slightly further apart, absolutely perfect, but think about your pelvis position all the way up to your spine. Okay, a little relax. We're going to go for the seated saw. So your feet are at about 45, so they're not too wide and not too narrow, so just a nice comfortable distance. We're going to activate those legs for me, so we're working on those quads again, our heels on the floor, pointing our toes up to the ceiling in this case. Okay, so our side saw is going to be our arms out to the side, take a nice deep breath in as you rotate and breathe out. And the back of my left hand is going to go to the side of my right foot. So nice deep breath in again. Squeeze the bum. Hopefully you can see that little lift. Core nice and tight. Pelvic floor is done. My breath is in. I'm turning. I'm breathing out my rotation. And I scoop through. Breathing in back to the top. Okay, so breathe out and rotate. Push the opposite hand against the side of the foot. Scoop round and in. We've got two more. So breathe out and rotate. So using the, the resistance against the hand against the foot.
How naughty. We're back. I'm not sure if I'm back for you guys just yet. I've got the live feed on my um, iPad, so I'll see when I come back in and we'll finish off our stretches. Something took all my battery, my laptop. Right, sorry about that, we lost power. Terribly naughty. So, sorry about that. Slight abrupt finish. Yeah, right. Sorry, my lovelies, we were at the um, saw <laughs> position. I'm just going to do some rotation now. I hope you haven't been standing, either sitting in a permanent position if the, if the picture's froze on you, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> doing a, like a five minute plank. Okay, so we're just going to do some rotation on the upper side of the body. So we're going to have our legs out at 45. If you are comfortable having your legs bent and your feet flat, fine. But again, think of your sit bones. I want your bits and bobs on the floor so you can tilt your pelvis to assist in that nice straight spine. So I'm going to have my legs in the, the alternative position. So let's have our arms out in front. So sit a lovely tall. Squeeze your bum, pelvic floor up and up and up and up. Arms in. Imagine you've got a steering wheel in front of you, but your fingers are straight, thumbs up. So we're going to make our little box rotate, go back to centre, rotate the other way, back to centre. So slightly wider arms, think about where we are when we do our retraction. So rotate to the right, back to centre, keep that core tight bum squeezed, rotate the other direction and back down. Perfect. Little rest. And we're going to go up and over. So again, think about squeezing your bum. So when you engage your glutes at this position, you should actually feel a physical lift go on. So squeeze your bum, suck in your pelvic floor, zip yourself up lovely and tall. Let's have our hands out in front, so our fingers are forward, thumbs are up. Set your back, we're going to lift our arms up. Resist the desire to let anything drop. Squeeze up bum, stay high, core tight, arms forward. Make sure your breath is, breath is drawn in, let's go again. Nice active legs, still squeezing your bum. We've got one more, don't let anything drop. Keep the core tight, bum is squeezed. Active feet up, back to centre, arms down, bum down, and rest. Good, so I hope you can feel a whole part of your body working. Good job. So sorry about the uh, little power cut in between. Let's go for our cool down. So let's plant our right arm, extend our left, up and curl over. Back to centre, plant your hand up. And over. Perfect. One more time. Plant your right. Up with your left knee. Back to centre. Last time, plant your left. Extend your right. Up and over. Perfect. Let's get ourselves up to standing. Wardrobe arrangement. Then I've got the display on. <laughs> Just about to see my head. Okay, so let's have a nice deep breath in once we're all up. 
All good? So breathe in. All the way up to the ceiling. Push your arms away up to your tippies. Breathe out, lay your arms. Good. Have a recovery breath. Let's go again. Breathe in. All the way up. Breathe out. Arms down. Good, good. Nice recovery breath. Hands to your side. Let's just slide down our body. This core is engaged. And up, slide the other way. Same again. Down the side. Feel the stretch and scrunch. And opposite sides. Perfect. Nice neutral arms. Look to the left. Look to the right. To the centre, drop your chin. To the centre, look up. Perfect. Roll your shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one. Change direction. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Back articulations. So took your chin, bones in your neck, into your ribs, into your lower back. Real stretch going all the way up. Let's curl ourselves in. Remember your stomach back in. Up and in, good job. Last little rolls. Three, two more, four, five. Perfect. Last little shake off my lovelies. And that's you all done. So apologies for the little power cut. Use that more juice than I thought, but we'll see you very shortly, as in tomorrow, 11 o'clock, fit over 50s. Ciao for now!